Hey everyone, it's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com and EatingThaiFood.com. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and a couple weeks ago, Ying and I were invited by the TAT, which is the Tourism Authority of Thailand, to attend uh, a celebration for the launch of Asia's 50 Best Restaurants 2016 in Bangkok. So it's pretty exciting. This is not the real thing. And actually, I have the invitation on my on my computer. Celebratory dinner to mark the launch of Asia's 50 Best Restaurants 2016. The invitation says formal business attire. And so it is very rare that I dress up in nice clothes, but I am about to take off the My Pet My Gin t-shirt and put on some fancy clothes and then Ying and I are off to, to the ceremony and I'm not even sure exactly what will happen but I'm excited to attend and I know there's gonna be some good food and I will try to video as much as possible. I'm all dressed. Well, at least I have my shirt on. I still need to put on my jacket, which Ying is holding. Uh, but we jumped onto a motorbike to get to the DTS train station. And now we just got the, took the train to Chitlom station. And we are heading to Gaysorn Shopping Center, which is just a short walk from this station. And the event is going to take place at a restaurant called Paste which is an awesome modern Thai restaurant. And it's, they have a, I've been to their old location a number of times at Tong Law, but this will be my first time to go to their new location at Gaysorn Plaza. All dressed now got the suit coat on even though it was a little challenging to get on uh, but we are on the third floor now of Gaysorn and we are now walking towards the event we just got registered and checked in and got checked in I think they gave us a USB stick and a little packet of documents Okay, so met up with Chef Jason Bailey and his wife Kun B, Chef Kun B, and it's been a while since I have seen them. Oh yeah, here's <laughs> Chef Kun B, who is awesome as well. Um, but it's been a while since I've seen them, and they have since opened a new location here at Gaysorn, which is where the event is taking place. And so Ying and I are taking a tour of the kitchen. It's like a, it's an absolute dream kitchen. So many cool cooking devices, lots of space. Um, there are, he has a team of, of like brilliant chefs and I am excited. Well actually we gotta go to the press conference first and then after that we're gonna have dinner. We got a first hors d'oeuvre and it's a piece of rose apple with what looks like maybe some kind of coconut something and then a leaf on top. So I think I'm gonna one bite this. Mm. Oh wow, that rose apple is very juicy. And then I think that's a salty kind of coconut and then a like a very like herbaceous, I think that's Vietnamese coriander. I'm delighted to be here to host the launch of Asia's 50 Best Restaurants 2016. Here in Bangkok. You know the power of food. The media press conference just ended and they announced that Asia's 50 Best Restaurants Award in Bangkok will take place on February 29th of 2016 next year. And now it's time for dinner, which is the part I'm most looking forward to. It is time for dinner, so we are heading into the dining room and trying to find our seats now. Where is our seat? Top? Oh, okay. 
So the first kind of hors d'oeuvre or dish that has come out is a scallop, which is served on the shell. And I'm not sure what all that topping is, but it looks like maybe some pork. And then that almost looks like uni, like sea urchin, but I'm not sure, but I am about to devour it. I think you're supposed to one bite this so that you get everything all in one bite. Oh, and I think there's coconut on the bottom as well. There is a lot of delicious flavors going on in that. The scallop is really nice and silky. And then it has a little bit of a like citrusy flavor to it. And then I can really taste some of that. I think there's crunchy, crispy coconut on the bottom as well. Okay, this one they said is salmon salad. And it looks like, yeah, I don't know, but that's a beautiful creation. And there are some fish eggs, some salmon eggs at the top of it. Okay, I'm gonna get some of that. That's very fluffy. And then there are some herbs in there. And then, I, yeah, that little, I think that is a little sphere of watermelon, but I'm not sure. Oh, that is definitely playing with the, the sweet and the salty. Oh, that's, that is delicious. Oh, that's definitely watermelon, and it's very juicy and sweet. And then the, the salmon is very dry and almost has a... Uh, yeah, almost like a cotton, like, dryness and texture to it. The main courses of food have just arrived, at least a couple of them. And this one, I believe, is a beef shank, which is braised and then topped with all sorts of glorious goodies. And, yeah, that smells unbelievably good. I can smell that slow, braised aroma coming off of it. And then over here, uh, this is a sea bass which is, I think I have actually been to Paste on my first time and I think I ate this dish. Um, and I think it might be a white turmeric, I think that might be white turmeric at the top there. Okay, Ying is serving me some of that beef. Okay, so Ying served me some of the fish and some of that braised beef onto the rice and I will dig into that sea bass first. Okay. Oh yeah, I can definitely really taste the white turmeric. Almost a uh, like radish and ginger flavor combined at the same time. But really like light and refreshing. Okay, and now I'm gonna move over to the other side of the plate for some of this beef. Oh, 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 oh. oh look at that. Oh, that is fall apart tender. Oh, yes. And I can taste that master stock on that braised beef. Oh, man. You can taste, uh, it has a hint of uh, the star anise flavor. And then it has a little bit of like an herb flavor. And then I'm not, maybe there's some shallots in there as well. This might be the most beautiful dish so far. And it looks like there are big prawns on the bottom and then a bunch of different assorted flowers and herbs beautifully placed on top. Shrimp is at the bottom, and then just all these herbs and flowers, and I think this is a piece of fried fish skin. Oh yeah, that's crispy. I will attempt to, to get a bite. What you gotta do with this food is you gotta try and get a little, like, piece of herb and like all the ingredients all in one bite to get all those flavors because all of the flavors really complement each other and that's what really makes the food so good. The shrimp is beautifully meaty and then that, that dressing is very sour. I think it is it's sharper than normal lime juice. I think it's tapir lime juice. This one I believe is a southern Thai curry and it looks like those are nuggets of crab. Those beautiful boneless nuggets. Oh. 
Oh, that crab is ridiculous. The meat is so sweet and so stringy, but in that like crab stringy kind of way. Oh, that's insane. The curry is a little bit sweet as well, and then has some like sharp spices flavoring to it. Um, and then maybe just an, a little bit of an herbaceous touch as well. It is time for dessert, and this is, it looks like a painting. Uh, there are so many little parts of this, and so many things going on. This looks like ice cream. This looks like a, a crushed up cookie. There are strawberries on here, there are blueberries, there's some yellow um, stuff at the bottom, some like little crunchy things, yeah, all sorts of things. So I think if I can attempt to get one bite with everything, that might be impossible, but I will try. Got some of that, got some of that. Um, let me move over to the front here and get a, a slice of strawberry, or oh, one of these white things and one of these, and then and I'll just try to scoot it on the bottom to get as much of that yellow stuff as possible. Okay, I think I managed to get everything in one little spoonful. Mm. The ice cream is very mild. Almost a very, very light caramel flavor. And then it has, it's kind of icy as well. And then, yeah, so the sweet ice cream, the sourish kind of tart fruits, and then all those like sweet and sour sauces. That's, that is beautiful. We made it back to our BTS train station. Uh, that was a good event. Food at Paste was excellent. All, everything was good. The combination of ingredients and especially the, the different components of e each dish and then all combined into a single spoonful or on a single plate. I think that's what makes the food so good. And then all those flavors bursting but complementing each other. So a big thank you to Chef Jason and Chef Kun Bi, and also thank you to TAT, the Tourism Authority of Thailand, for inviting us this evening. And I hope all the video will come out okay. Uh, it was a little dark in the restaurant this evening, so it was hard to get some of the shots of the food, but I hope it will be all right. And I want to say thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below, and I will see you on the next video.